you guys. So today for Random Thoughts Thursdays, I actually asked on my Facebook page last night if there's anything in particular that you guys want to see because um, I was kind of like, I have a list of ideas, but there's some things that I just couldn't really do yet. And I was like, oh, what am I going to do tomorrow? Um, so I had someone suggest um, some of my trailer must-haves. And I thought, okay, well, that's actually a good one because I've learned the hard way um, <laughs> that there's a few things I should always have in my trailer. So today I'm going to share that with you. Okay, so probably the most important thing that I keep in my trailer, and I've learned the hard way, you don't want to go without one of these, is a tire iron. <laughs> um, I know some people have the, I don't actually know what it's called, but it's like an electric gun that will help you take your tire off. Um, that's awesome too, but I'm really cheap. So, tire iron it is. You can get one of these at Walmart. And best thing to have in your trailer because the sad reality is, you're probably going to blow a tire at one point. Um, another thing that I do, instead of using a jack, I actually keep blocks in my trailer so that I can drive the trailer wheel up. Like Trailer wheels are easy to change in that way, so I'll drive up onto the block and that way you can take the other tire off. So um, I'm going to show you how I do that too. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I do if I do blow a tire, um, how I will basically get it lifted up so that I can get the tire off. Um, a jack is probably easier. I just don't have one. So this is my kind of redneck way of doing it. It is a little bit difficult if you're on your own because you're trying to figure out how far you have to drive up onto the block. Um, it's a little easier if you have someone there to kind of direct you and stop you when you're in the right spot. But uh, I've made do with this this long. So I'll show you. My redneck jack. So say you blow this tire here and you need to get the trailer lifted up. What I'll do, and I would put more blocks than this, but I'm just giving you an example, is I will put couple blocks down usually a bit higher than that drive up onto it and then that will lift the, tra lift the trailer up a little bit so that you can get the other wheel off okay so now I'm um, actually at my little trailer because I'm going to show you what I do over here so another thing that I always recommend that you do is pack your own water so especially when you're traveling to a lot of different rodeo grounds or if you're going on a long trip sometimes you can't find water for the horses and in the summer months when it's really hot it's kind of an essential thing so um, my current trailer, I'm lucky enough now that I actually have a big water tank and a tap on it, so I'm set up pretty well, but if you guys had watched my um, trailer tour video, you'll remember my story about kind of the humble beginnings and trailers that I started out in and kind of worked my way, wet, way up. And um, so what I did before and in my previous trailer, um, I've had trailers that have a big water tank on them, which is awesome if you can do that. If you can't, I'm going to show you what I do. So excuse the mess in here, but I have one of these. You can get them. Um, I think Walmart even has them. <laughs> I'm like the Walmart advocate today. Um, but yeah, they people use them for camping and stuff, I think. But I'll fill a couple of those, or you can even fill um, what Kyla does is those big jugs that you'll get from the grocery store that you would put on like a water filter thing. Um, but yeah, having one of those is super handy and it fills a couple buckets, so it kind of gets you by. So I actually found one to show you at our place here. So this is another option. Fill a couple of these and take them with you and that way you can fill up a couple buckets and you're not gonna be without water. So the next thing that I can't do without in my trailer is shavings. And Cody argued with me to the death on this one um, because he said to me when we were in Arizona, like I hate pulling into somewhere and your horses drag all these shavings out and you make a big mess at someone's place. And he's right because, you know, you can clean up what they've pulled out, but it's hard to get all the little shaving bits. So then suddenly you've left a bunch of shavings in someone's yard. So I get it. So we're in Arizona and we decided to go without shavings. Well, there's a few reasons that I like having them. One, it kind of saves your trailer because a lot of like the pee and stuff gets absorbed. Um, but two, it protects your tack room. So what happened in Arizona is a horse peed in our trailer when we had no shavings. And even though his tack room reaches like quite close to the floor, um, the pee went underneath the tack room and soaked all of my horse boots. So <laughs> after that, I remember I came out of the trailer and I was so mad and I picked up this bag and it's like my boot bag dripping in pee. And I just looked at him and I said, I'm putting shavings in the trailer from now on. And then we never talked about it again. So <laughs> um, I like to have shavings in my trailer and I'll show you the kind that I use. Okay, so you can see I just got this one 
Uh, my trailer rebedded down, so I usually just make sure that I have a lot against the wall because if they're gonna poop and I have mares, so pee, it's gonna be there. And then uh, this is Arrow's stall, so I made sure to pull a little bit more up there in case he decides to pee. And then I also make sure that I line the tack room with shavings because in particular with this trailer, like there's a bit of a gap. And now that I've learned the hard way, um, I like to just make sure that there's something to absorb anything there. Well, those are my absolute must-haves in my horse trailer. Um, I'm a notorious overpacker, so <laughs> there's a lot of other things that I feel like I absolutely have to have in here at all times, but those are probably like the most important things. Um, hopefully that was some help to you guys, maybe gave you some ideas. Um, but thank you for watching Random Thoughts Thursdays today, and uh, I will see you guys on Tuesday for the next episode of Barrel Racer Life. Mm -hmm.